Welcome to our tutorial on the difference between star and delta connections. In electrical engineering, three-phase systems are widely used for power generation, transmission, and distribution. Understanding the way these systems are connected is crucial for anyone working in the field. Today, we'll break down the basics of star and delta connections, so everyone can follow along. Let's start with the star connection, also known as the Y connection. Imagine we have three coils or windings, each representing one phase of a three-phase system, which we'll label as R for red, Y for yellow, and B for blue. In a star connection, one end of each of these windings is connected to a common point. This common point is called the neutral point, often marked as N. The other ends of the windings are connected to the three-phase power supply lines. In a star connection, the voltage between any two lines is known as the line voltage, denoted as V underscore L. This voltage is square root of three times the voltage across each individual winding, which we call the phase voltage, denoted as V underscore pH. Mathematically, this is expressed as V underscore L equals square root of three times V underscore pH. This relationship occurs because the line voltage is the vector sum of two phase voltages in a star configuration. Now, let's talk about the current in a star connection. The current flowing through each line, called the line current and denoted as I underscore L, is the same as the current flowing through each phase winding, which is the phase current, denoted as I underscore pH. In other words, I underscore L equals I underscore pH. An important feature of the star connection is the neutral point. This point can be connected to the ground for safety and stability. It provides a return path for unbalanced currents. This is particularly useful in power distribution networks, where having a neutral point helps manage loads that aren't perfectly balanced. Now, let's move on to the delta connection, also known as the delta connection. In this configuration, the windings are connected end-to-end -end in a loop. Each junction point of the windings is connected to the power supply lines. There is no neutral point in a delta connection, as the windings form a closed triangle. In a delta connection, the voltage across each phase winding is the same as the voltage between the lines. This means the line voltage, V underscore L, is equal to the phase voltage, V underscore pH. Unlike the star connection, there's no multiplication factor here because each phase is directly connected across two lines. When it comes to current in a delta connection, the current flowing through each line, I underscore L, is square root of three times the current through each phase winding, I underscore pH. This relationship is due to the way currents from each phase combine at the junction points. Mathematically, this is expressed as I underscore L equals square root of three times I underscore pH. In contrast to the star connection, the delta connection doesn't have a neutral point. Since the windings form a closed loop, there's no single point where the currents can converge and balance out. Let's talk about where these connections are used. Star connections are commonly found in power distribution networks. The presence of a neutral wire makes it easier to manage unbalanced loads and provides a safety ground. This is especially useful for long-distance power transmission, as it allows for lower voltage levels per phase, reducing insulation requirements and energy loss. On the other hand, delta connections are often used in industrial settings, particularly where high starting torque is needed, such as in motor windings. The delta configuration is robust and efficient, making it suitable for heavy-duty applications. To summarize, in a star connection, the line voltage is square root of three times the phase voltage, the line current equals the phase current, and a neutral point is formed. In a delta connection, the line voltage equals the phase voltage, the line current is square root of three times the phase current, and there is no neutral point. Understanding the differences between star and delta connections helps in designing and implementing electrical systems that are safe, efficient, and suited to their specific applications. Whether you're dealing with power distribution or industrial machinery, knowing when to use each type of connection is key. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you next time.